maximising yield, grain quality and profitability is pretty much a lifelong ambition for most grain growers. But now GRDC is taking that goal to a whole new level with a major investment in a four-year intensive research project, the Hyper Yielding Crops Initiative, a collaboration led by FAR Australia and involving these research partners. The Hyper Yielding Crops Initiative is a new initiative funded by GRDC where we're looking at trying to increase our productivity all across the high rainfall zone of Australia. And we're doing that by linking research through to focus farms, through to getting the whole community involved in hyper yielding crops. The project just starting this year. The initiative will involve five centres of excellence, much like this first pilot research centre at Nawari, just west of Geelong, but will also involve growers across 25 focus farms in WA, South Australia, Victoria, New South Wales and Tasmania. Around those centres we're setting up some groups that are then going to be made up of uh, leading growers, growers who are prepared to give it a go and, uh, and, and are prepared to say, okay, I've got some issues in my paddock, but you know, I want to try something out. And so they'll be supported with some local agronomists providing some technical expertise, but the whole, the whole essence of the, of the extension part of this project is that those growers innovate those ideas themselves. So the, the ideas come from within and the, and the agronomists are there to support them. At the Focus Farm paddock trials, local innovation groups are given the opportunity to see variety choice, sowing date, fertiliser strategies, disease, weed and insecticide management, with every detail thoroughly recorded. Harvest results will be compared across the different approaches that the group has chosen to look at. The aim? To challenge leading growers to close the yield gap from what is currently being achieved compared to the potential of the paddock. This will be across all the high rainfall environments. So why does GRDC feel this initiative is needed at this time? This project fits very, very strongly with GRDC's commitment to trying to improve yields across Australia. It's one of their key investment targets. I think as a project team, we feel that with higher yield potential in the high rainfall zone, that given the right combinations of germplasm, farming system and management, we believe that the upside to increasing yield in the high rainfall zone is that much greater. And so we're all excited about getting on board and trying to increase productivity. Through the new investment, potential high yield cultivars suited to local environments will be identified and the most appropriate agronomic management tactics applied to achieve maximum yield, higher grain quality and greater profitability. We're searching for new germplasm and that germplasm has to have specific features. It's got to be extremely disease resistant, got to stand up if we've got higher yield potential and Obviously, because some parts of our high rainfall zone are much longer season, it's got to have a different phenology to the kind of germplasm we, or varieties that we use in the main grain belt. Integral to the Hyper Yielding Crops Initiative will be the innovation groups in each region, aimed at taking the latest research results and development learnings from small plot to paddock scale. The innovation groups are about getting like-minded growers together who are keen to have a go. The way we're going to operate the groups is really paddock-based walks. It's, we're, not, we're not going to be sat inside in workshops. We're going to be out in the paddock, kicking the dirt, looking at what's working, what isn't working, and what can we look at and try out in the paddock. Ultimately, we're looking for being inclusive and trying to get the whole community to have this interest in how they can lift productivity. The research and development focus for this initiative will be on dryland wheat, malting barley and canola. It's a shift from the feed grains focus of the highly successful Tasmanian hyper yielding cereals project. Many concepts from the Tasmanian trials will be replicated in the national trials, including the seeing is believing approach to research extension, according to John Midwood. So this part of the project, the, the new uh, hyper yielding crops project, is about taking the concepts that we've seen uh, that have been produced 
and to be honest, um, some yield targets that, that people need to aspire to. So how good, how good is it that you can actually take a project and then say, okay, well, let's go back to your paddock in your situation, your environment, and drive that yield. And so if we can do that on people's own paddocks and, uh, and they're driving that innovation themselves, then to me, that seeing is believing. And then, then we're gonna start to kick some goals. What should also score points is the HYC Awards, a form of agronomy benchmarking, producing a comprehensive agronomic analysis and a highly detailed personalised report for each participating grower. When we're able to show those, those leading growers who, who win some of the awards for the highest yield in the season, the other growers are going to be able to look back and say, I've got about 40 things here in this report that I can look at and, no, and nobody probably will have ever had their crop management details recorded to that level. Paddock data will be compared both regionally and nationally. As far as I'm aware, it is completely unique in, in that nobody has provided detailed report to that level that you can actually sit at your office desk and go, I can actually see some areas here where I can, in, I can close the yield gap on what is perceived to be the potential. How, how good's that? We're excited because of those that are involved but also at the opportunity of linking growers in different parts of the high rainfall zone of Australia. So yeah, really excited about it. The project leaders are urging growers and advisors to get involved. And anyone wanting to join the project or enter a wheat paddock in the HYC awards should contact their local research project coordinators. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.